some new developments. Along with these new details, the Calcasieu Parish District Attorney's Office also tells us Terry Miles has violated probation here in Louisiana and a warrant is currently being written for his arrest. Let's break down what we know so far. The DA's office says Miles has violated his probation for the charges of domestic abuse battery, his third offense, and illegal possession of stolen things. Ken Pastrick with the Louisiana Department of Corrections says Miles was doing well on his probation granted in 2015 and was granted a minimum supervision in April 2017. The last time they did a probation visit with him was in August when he lived in Calcasieu Parish. We now know his move to Round Rock, Texas violated that probation, but it's not the first time Miles has been on parole. When he came to Southwest Louisiana from California in 2006, he was on parole for a 2002 conviction of domestic abuse of a spouse, rape by force of a spouse, and threatening crime. He's evil. He's sadistically evil. Pasha Filipski Acheson encountered Terry Miles through her niece, his former girlfriend, Carrie Lynn Filipski. Miles was arrested by Sulphur Police in 2011 on a charge of attempted second-degree murder. Kerry was the victim. He was hung by her wrist on the pipes inside the apartment, and he had beat her with a baseball bat and had started to sodomize her and rape her. That attempted murder charge against Miles was dropped when Kerry died in 2012 from an overdose. Atchison says it was a hard time for her family. This only brings back her fear of Miles. Oh my God, I'm afraid he's going to do what he did to my niece to them because they're so young and they can't fight for themselves. You know, they can't protect themselves against him. He's a big guy. Miles and the girls are suspected to be in southern Colorado with sightings still being reported in that area. However, there still are active Amber Alerts around the country. Anyone with any information is asked to call authorities. At your service, Caitlin Russ, KPLC 7 News.